two forks tower. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but maybe you just really like trees. Maybe it's... Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do you think you can handle that? Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. 
Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. I found the supply box. Great. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear-proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. And there's a canyon and then the rest of... Well, <laughs> everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer.
Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here just a little way from the shale slide. Well, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? There's a... Ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. I 
I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> enjoy dealing with that. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea? What? It's just a loser out in the woods. I mean, he's Brody. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Hey, just so you're aware, I confiscated your fireworks. Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? You're broke. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Okay. I hope they drown. Oh, wow. Um, the music's uh, a little loud. Oh, sorry. I took their stereo. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're all even then? Yeah, I think so. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it. So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. You know what? Fuck it, I'm not the main. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. This lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Start to feel like it.
confession to make. What is it? Um, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy and, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning. It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon. Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! Hello! This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. <laughs> out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. Henry, there's, there's something I... something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. So this generator, it's all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Ah. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo <laughs> Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. I like the outhouse in a rustic, I'm roughing it sort of way. Yeah, it's a little privacy among the seemingly endless expanse of, well, privacy. I like it all the same. on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No, how the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just me. Yeah, it sucks. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, I sure don't now.
up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. Uh, hey, your no, button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady.
I'm at the shale slide. I, I can't climb down from here without a rope. Um, you shouldn't need a rope where you're headed. The climb through the canyon has its dangerous bits, but you should be able to do it without gear. Which way is the canyon again? It's just north of your tower. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. I found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence.
Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff.
Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Okay, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies.
Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, near Lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. She's sick. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... 
I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Mm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, well, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. Like the goddamn park can burn down again. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Oh, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? 
She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. think so, that thin plume of smoke? Yeah. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. Great. Find your way over there and give them hell. I came back to where they were yesterday thinking they might not have gone far. That's a good instinct. I take it they're not there. Not currently. I bet they didn't go far. How'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things?
Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. 
Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, so. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, <laughs> A pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then... You're probably the last person to have seen him. It's a coincidence. How many pairs of girls go backpacking? Probably a lot. Yeah, probably a lot. So I guess you didn't get their names then? Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset.
Henry. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Babe, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. You get back to sleep then. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <sighs> so, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And, <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Thank you. 
All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? drop food, did you? No. I mean, I don't... Uh, I'm hungry. So, you did. I gotta go. seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm -mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. He would like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but... when the sun is down, you can just... get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. 
Well, maybe you shouldn't have taken so much of it then. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. You are such a drama queen. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Turt Reynolds. Well, now I can't wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. 
Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Henry, are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you? Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were, so... What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. All right, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Okay, um, I've, I've given it the good college try, uh, no dice. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence.
Nope. called around things seem normal with everyone else should we call the cops or the forest service and and let them know this is going on um don't you think that would sound you know crazy yeah it is crazy we have to tell someone tell them what henry tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof i don't know tell them we're being bothered or something like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never gonna let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, w what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Whew. <sighs> 
Well, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan.
You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weeblo or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Why? You don't think you're gonna end up on a milk carton, do you? I... Found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and... Realize it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. <laughs> oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! So. Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. Hey, so, did you mention something about Ned Goodwin having PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. Uh, he was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next to kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow, um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? Hmm. Huh. Hey, Dee, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Guess what? What you got? I found an axe back near that camp. 
A uh, firefighter left it? Probably, yeah. It's got, like, a funny little point. Sure does. Okay, that's called a Pulaski. It's standard issue. Whatever. This Pulaski I found means I can start clearing these trails. there I, I had a thought let's hear it you heard someone in the bushes yeah okay so let's assume we're being tailed or you are at least where are you right now just on my way back in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere do you see anybody no definitely not all right so uh, tell me what you think of this <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me, just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there.
Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? Ugh. This is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elks Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else and I'm done asking. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Like Julia... Maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry! Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and, and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry... Sweetie, I am real, and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second, and then call me back. I'm on your side. Okay, I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Yeah, I told you not to say anything. You agreed with me. I know I did. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this.
I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <clears throat> I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. Oh! Ow! Site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. doing something with the soil out here too it's all gridded off hey maybe you were right about the lichens I and mean, there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here like what dishes and stuff on metal legs there are wires all over the place I don't know I'm not really up on high-tech this equipment is not stuff from the hardware store Definitely some sort of monitoring station. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. There's... Some sort of monitor. I don't know what it does. Maybe air quality or something? Maybe they're keeping data on everything that could impact our moods. That looks possible. This is crazy. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. 
Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Maybe the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. Yeah, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. Okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments. About the two of us. 
There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are? How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Yeah. Fuck them. They'll dump an ocean of water on it, and these assholes will spend the rest of the summer picking up the pieces. We get to finish out our contracts. <laughs> Hell, we'll even call in the fire. Yeah, okay. You don't sound too excited about that. I'm not. Look, worst case scenario... The whole forest burns down along with whoever's in it? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. Worst case. Maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! It's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. collapsed climbing out of here and um now it looks like there's smoke coming from the site what the hell happened to you it's definitely not the best idea it wasn't me <sighs> what do we do we ignore it obviously if they come to put water on it then we know the forest service is connected somehow the person who did it is still out there right now henry we're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Good plan. I'm a good planner. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay, ay, ay. 
I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine, but there's, there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not... You? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out.
What's wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Hey, you... Uh, you didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout? It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just... They're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Jesus, this is a big cave. in here. Is anybody down there?
Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in... Your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit! He also stole his dad's climbing equipment, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was gonna hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah, it sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. 
Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. rocks stacked up you made a wall and a perimeter oh, God. yeah that's that's perfect you know maybe he made it because he was afraid of them uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap I get I get sick to my stomach yeah uh, sorry he'd hide out here to read comics the black band his grief is his enemy's sorrow Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark.
What do you think is in there? There's got to be something. Why else try to kill me? I don't know, really. I mean, we got to find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? A, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yeah, especially now that I'm thinking about all the fun ways to be killed. I'm sorry. Look, at least whoever locked you in doesn't know you've gotten out. Hopefully you find whatever they're hiding in there, and it'll be worth the risk. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Brian Goodwin. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you, um, might want to 
take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. look, I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire, or the site fire, or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About what happened to Brian. I don't have much to say. I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there, and I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe? Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us, who, whoever made the tape. Okay, yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. 
It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and... Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone. He's deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. He held on to some of Brian's things. His wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. He... God. What? Nothing, just... some of Brian's stuff. Brian was a nice-looking kid. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. He wrote down everything he did to us, and everything he did every day. He was scared shitless.
you should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. This boombox looks familiar. From the girls? Yeah. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. He had quite the view. I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. And I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. Now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <sighs> D? Oh, fuck. 
Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Wait, just wait, okay? I'm not that far. Henry, they're here. They're waiting right now. Please. Henry, I don't... I don't want to meet you and just sit here in a dead boy's shadow. Okay, I, I don't want to do that. I know that sounds harsh. <sighs> okay, I'll wait. I'm not far. Okay.
I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah?
Oh, God, it's a nightmare out there. Hello? Delilah! Damn it. Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. You're not here. No. Don't be mad. I'm not mad. I'm just... You're not mad? You're just disappointed? I'm not your dad after you got busted smoking pot. I just couldn't be out there for another minute. You could have just said that. I did, and now I'm... Disappointed. Yeah. I know. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe... Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um... Just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. I've, uh... I gotta move on. I don't expect you to know what that's like, but I... have to find some way to move on. Something to do. What if you can't? Then maybe they're hiring lookouts in the Adirondacks. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. I just... I gotta move on. Somehow. I hope you do. There's the helicopter. They'll land you back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. Thanks, Delilah. I appreciate it. I mean it, Henry. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs>